Welcome to another RV Nation video. Today we're going to take a few minutes to walk around the outside and inside of a new 2015 and a half Salem 27 D Bud. Uh, one of the first things you'll notice on the new 15 and a half models, it has more silver down the sides. So you got a big wide band of color going down the center of the side here. And also the front is sloped back more. It's notched back a little better for better aerodynamics. Um, also it gives them a little more room in the bedroom due to the center section here coming out. Uh, take a minute here. We got uh, diamond plate on the front. We've got uh, hitch light up here. We've got a power tongue jack with a light built in and a manual override. This is part of the uh, showstopper package for a limited time. You've got a bottle cover here. Uh, this particular coach has the optional 30 pound gas bottles, come standard with 20s. You've got a place here where you can put one or two batteries. One battery is usually provided by your RV dealer. You've got a large pass-through storage going across the front of this camper here. You've got power stabilizer jacks down here with the button next to it and then also on the rear. You've got a LCI Lippert power awning. This power awning is a little nicer than your average. It's got the built-in LED light strip, but also Lippert's version actually up here has a uh, little area right there, a little rubber boot. You pop that out and you can put a uh, 7 16 ratchet in there and basically manually crank this in and out where most brands you cannot. Uh, you also have the three inch gutter extensions helping shoot away the water here. You've got black frame windows here. They last a little longer looking, not a little nicer looking for longer period of time versus the old white. Triple entrance step here. You've got your uh, screen door and radius top entry door here. Large folding entry handle. You've got a uh, six gallon gas electric water heater here. Uh, basically on the water heater, it's got a little plastic catch here. You've got the uh, drain here, inch and a sixteenth anoid rod. Heating element behind here in case it ever goes bad. You've got your on off electric switch here. Reset buttons, pressure relief valve here. Uh, also some uh, model numbers and serial numbers on the side there as well too. Um, you've got uh, outdoor speakers here. Stove exhaust. Furnace exhaust, outside electric outlet, tandem axle, refrigerator access panel for maintenance, fresh water tank fill up. We've got a, another large storage compartment here on the rear. This is underneath the bunk area here. Rear electric jack. got the optional spare tire mount and cover. You've got the uh, arched roof for better water runoff and you can kind of see the gutter extension sticking out there as well too. On this particular coach your dump area is in the rear. So you got your gray and black tanks dumping back here on the rear corner. You've got your uh, power cord pulling out here in the rear as well. You've got cable and satellite hookups and your city water hookup back here. The slide out is basically the sofa and dinette that slide out. We'll show you that when we get inside. Another real nice feature here, this gasket on the slide out seals, that is actually in a track. It's not a cheap two-sided tape version like many brands use. Uh, so kind of keep that in mind as you look around as well. The other side of the uh, pass-through storage here. Also another nice feature I should have mentioned there. Under the slide out you'll see the two steel bars basically supporting this slide system. This is an electric slide system with a worm gear. This is not a cheaper cable slide system uh, or a uh,
Going on up inside here, you've got your uh, fire extinguisher. Got your entertainment area here. Basically have a DVD, AM, uh, FM, CD stereo system here. You've got an electric outlet here. Your TV hookups here for the antenna, cable, satellite, RCA jacks for the DVD system. The TV area spins around here. Uh, so you can actually rotate it into the bedroom or use it uh, in the living room. You've got a lot of vinyl flooring here. Uh, In-floor ducted heat. You've got a jackknife sofa with a very large storage drawer here as well too. This opens up. Gives you quite a bit of storage room here for extra blankets and stuff. Got overhead cabinets here as well. Nice edging on it also. You've got uh, nightshades here. Nice curtain rods. This particular coach has the U-shaped dinette that makes into a bed. Also has another nice size drawer down below here. Uh, this drawer basically pulls up. So you got a nice big pots and pans drawer here. Got a gas electric refrigerator. You've also got a 16 inch gas oven, three burner stove top, uh, hood range, and microwave with rotisserie tray. You've got a little bit taller cabinetry here in the kitchen area versus the earlier model. High rise faucet. Also have a uh, little barrel on the end here that basically opens up. Giving you some extra storage. Got your electric box and uh, your uh, propane leak detector down there. You've got full extending ball bearing drawer guides. Nice little uh, closet area here. Can kind of use it for pantry or kids clothes. You've got two double beds. It's got ducted air conditioning. Got an emergency exit window back there as well too. Got a foot flush toilet. Tub shower combo here. Skylight up above. Also has a little fan up here as well too. Wall switch for the bathroom light. Also have your uh, medicine cabinet here. It's a wood medicine cabinet, not a cheap plastic one. Uh, you've got a ground fault electric breaker, sink, little storage down below here, electric outlet next to the dinette area. The uh, thermostat here next to the dinette area as well too for your furnace and your air conditioner. Also for just the fan on the air conditioner as well too. So you got three modes that you can turn everything on and off here. Another nice feature too below that entertainment center. They kind of notched it out so it's a great place for the kids to put their shoes and stuff. When they come right inside they can put them in there. Not track up the rest of the coach. Got a hanging closet on each side of the bed, shelf over top, basically a queen size bed. You've got uh, room to walk around this bed as well too. This is a really nice feature. Uh, a lot of these, this bed butts right up against these doors here. The bed raises up for storage underneath as well. Got a light switch on the wall over there for the bedroom light. Again, this has been a video on the Salem 27 D-Bud. 
Thanks for taking the time to watch our video. Be sure to check out some of our others. And also uh, check out our pricing on our website. We are the largest internet wholesale dealer, one of the largest internet wholesale dealers that are uh, currently online. Check us out.